Welcome to another PRDV Entertainment Tutorial for the Unreal Engine 4. If you get lost on the tutorial because of some options or things that you don't understand, feel free to search on our channel for our playlists of tutorials and dummy lessons for the Unreal Engine 4. Thanks for being part of PRDV Entertainment YouTube channel. Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment. Welcome to another dummy lesson for the Unreal Engine 4. Today I will teach you guys how you can cast to your character. Now, casting to the character is like connecting to the character so you can get variables, information, text, numbers, and other stuff that the character already has on his properties. So, let's do this really quick. Right here, let's open our character and let's add three variables. It's going to be a boolean, the other one is going to be a float, and the other one is going to be integer. Okay? The other one's going to be a float. Now I'm going to put for float, I'm going to put float test1. For integer, I'm going to put integer test1. And for boolean, I'm going to put boolean test1. And then test1. There we go. Okay, so we got a one here. Now let's compile so we can get our properties for our variables here. And I'm going to set this on public so we can get those variables when we cast to the player, to our character. Okay, so let's put the result on each one. So for the full I'm, I'm just going to leave it on 100. For the integer, I'm going to put here 25. And for the boolean, uh, I'm going to tell them it's going to be true. So I think I already explained what these variables do. So if you haven't seen tutorials uh, how to use these variables I suggest that you go back to our channel and verify on our playlist and there you will find how to work with these variables I got uh, different tutorials for each one of them so now let's say that may uh, we want to show this on the screen so we're gonna use the print text function for the screen so let's create a, a blueprint actor here and it's gonna be I don't know maybe uh, testing I'm gonna put testing for a name this is only for test so now I'm going to add a collision this is gonna be a sphere collision and now I'm gonna add a mesh and it's gonna be a static mesh and now I'm gonna change that mesh to maybe a cube let me see if I can find it here we go so now I'm gonna scale this down really little there we go I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and I'm gonna rotate it there we go I'm gonna pull it up a little bit it's kinda far there we go so now I'm gonna put uh, material is gonna be gold okay gold there we go and now let's go to our event graph now from here we're just going to be using the overlap now here is where we will cast to our character where we will connect to our character so we can get those variables and show them on the screen so for this on the event overlap let's cast this to our first person character and after that on the object we have to tell them to get the player character because if you don't say that he won't read the variables from that character. So here on as first person character on this pin here, from here you will drag out to get your variables. So let's get our three variables that is boolean test and now the other one that is get float uh, test and the other one is get integer test. There we go. So for the boolean I'm going to put it right here on the bottom let me drag these three over here and I'm gonna say that for the float we're going to print the text <coughs> so we got yeah let's print the text print text here okay print text there we go so let's say that for the float he's gonna turn it he's gonna convert the number on text and he's gonna print it on the screen and now let's add another print text here and for this one we will use it for our integer and he's gonna do the same thing he's going to convert the numbers on text and he's gonna print it on the screen now for the boolean here I'm gonna drag it over here and I'm gonna create a branch here so we can tell him if it's being pressed or not and for the condition he will tell if, it's, if it is pressed or not so if it is pressed let's tell him to print text 
Oh, it's gonna be the key is pressed. And now let's add for the false option. Let's add the print text. And here is gonna be saying, please press the key for showing on screen. There we go. Please. Okay. What happened? Please. What? There we go. Please press the key for showing on screen. There we go. So for this, we have to tell them over there on a character if it's going to be pressed or not. So for that, I'm going to compile here, and I'm going to go back to my character here. I'm going to check on boolean. It's going to be check, but I'm going to erase that. I'm going to uh, uncheck that, and I'm going to use this. Uh, let me say uh, the enter key. Enter. Yeah, the enter. Okay. So I'm going to drag this here. I'm going to set it. So every time it's pressed, it's true. And now I'm going to set it once again. And every time that is released, it's false. So it's not pressed. And now let's compile. Let's close this. Let's drag our item onto the scene here. Let's pull it up. And now let's see what happens. So he's saying to press the key. So now if I go back and I leave the key pressed down, the key is pressed. 25 for the interior and 100 for the flow. So if I release the key and I overlap again, press the key for showing on screen, 25 for the interior and 100 for the flow. So I think that's pretty easy for casting to the character. So now you guys know how to get the variables and how you can work with them over there using different objects, not doing everything exactly on the character. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Hope you guys like this tutorial. If you need something else, just comment on the box and I'll try to create tutorials for you guys to help you guys out. Bye-bye, guys.